Hey there guys, Nintendo PSX here, and I just want to do, actually I don't know how long it's going to be, I was going to say maybe quick, but I, who knows if it's actually going to be quick. I just want to give my opinions on the new Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, um, when I first saw the trailer, I was blown away, you know, obviously this is a Zelda a lot of people have been asking for. Um, you don't really see uh, too many of the Western RPG style uh, of gameplay coming out of Japan. So, you know, this is something new for Japan as well as it is something new for us. Getting a Zelda-like experience, but as if it was coming from a Western developer, as if from The Witcher or CD Projekt or... Yeah, I, I'm not even going to say Skyrim because I don't even like that game. Regardless, it's a game a lot of people have been asking for in this kind of format. And they've made it work in a way where they've broken a lot of the conventions of Zelda that have been in place since A Link to the Past, the third Legend of Zelda game. But yet, yeah, it still feels part of the world. It still feels like it fits. It doesn't feel out of place. Now, mainly the big reason why that would... Well, a lot of people feel that way, including myself, is because of Zelda 1. The way that Zelda 1 was structured, the way that Z Zelda 1 was made, is you look at Breath of the Wild and you see Zelda 1, but expanded, HD, bigger glorified it's exactly what this game is it's, it, it's like a remake of zelda one in, in a weird way to voice that but you know whatever it mimics a lot of things from the first zelda, legend of zelda game that captured a lot of people years ago into this franchise to what it is now now there's been a lots of information shown i'm not going to cover it you know this isn't me being like this is the new information you're seeing no, this is just my opinion um finding items out in the open i'm okay with i don't find that you know too bad um, you know, as for getting different outfits, okay, that works. You know, he'll probably get the green tunic at the end and the Master Sword, you know, that's his, like, end game gear, you know, the one that doesn't, you know, the gear that doesn't break, the gear that doesn't go bad, you know, the gear that's multi-purpose. Um, you'll probably get that end game where you're stronger and everything like that and you're, you know, ready to face Calamity Ganon. Uh, y you know, it's, it's just, it's just this is how it, they're doing it now and this is all right. Uh, there's voice acting now, which I am super on board for. I've been saying for a while now that Z Legend of Zelda could definitely do for some voice acting. Uh, they could still keep Link silent. You know, he can be whatever he wants to be. He could be quiet. He could never open his mouth to voices. But, um, you know, I still like that they're giving you uh, choice options of, you know, how you want to voice Link. Where if Link's just like, you know, when he walks up to the old man, he's like, where are we? Or he's just like, bye. Like, I'm just gone. Fuck you. <laughs> you know. Um, it's, it's just an interesting thought when you look at it and then you just see uh, these choices similar to Skyward Sword where you could like pick the three different, you know, the triangle of different uh, choices so you could put your own spin on a personality for Link that you wanted. But now, you know, uh, we have a, the lady in the voice acting, you know, saying Link. So it it's, doesn't seem like we're going to be having the option to name our uh, Link anymore, which is fine. That's great, actually. I've been wanting Link to be more solidified as a character for years now. But, you know, Nintendo, uh, they didn't do it until just recently, which being this game. And even a, a bit in the uh, normal, the, some of the, past, the remakes of the other games where the name is automatically Link, the name is automatically Epona, you know, uh, it Link started off as an avatar for the player and the, the game but over time as video games evolved that became less and less of a thing and you know he became he started to become his own character his own persona and you know everyone's like oh every link's different he could still be whatever it's not it's not the point it's not how you're supposed to look at it. you're supposed to see link is a central figure as a central kind of character and he sh he deserves to be his own character in my opinion you know I, I, I shouldn't impose my own feelings and my own thoughts onto him. He should be free to move and act as he wants, but within the realm of what I can control. You know, uh, there's no female Link. I'm, I'm actually hope I'm thankful for that because for different reasons that I don't want to get into right now. But um, you could watch uh, Female Link is a relevant video. But anyways, um, yeah, so the only few very few issues i have with the game right now like just looking at it now i would rate it like an 8 out of 10 you, there's only two issues that i that, that looks like a four only two issues i've seen so far which is one music music looks very or not looks but sounds very bland fuck you phone it sounds bland and uninspired i don't like that i don't like the, the way the music sounds it's very i'll give it that it's very atmospheric it feel it fits 
with the theme of the game, and I understand that, but in terms of Zelda overall, it doesn't really sound like a Zelda song. It sounds bland. It's just, I'm just boring, uninspired. I, I, like I said, it, it just doesn't sound, it doesn't sound good for a Zelda title. And, you know, obviously, they haven't worked out a full, um, a, a full, you know, roster of soundtracks because the game's not out yet. You know, it still has, like, a, a whole year left for it to come out. And that's understandable, you know? If they'll prove over time to me that there will be a stellar soundtrack, you know, like Twilight Princess, Over in Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, Minish Cap, over time, and they'll prove that. And I believe they will because there's no way they're going to forget music in Zelda. Uh, so I have no fear that the music is going to be good. Just currently, as I have heard so far, I'm not in... I'm not... Uh, supportive of the, real, the music direction currently, but they can always prove me wrong. Uh, second part is we haven't seen any actual dungeons yet, and I'm a little iffy on that. Like we, should, we like there's a hundred plus sh shrine of trials, and that's cool. You know, physics puzzles I'm all for it. You know, people love Portal and all that kind of stuff. You know, you know, physics puzzles aren't bad. I just don't want you know every dungeon, every trial to only be physics puzzles. Like you know, I want my traditional Zelda puzzles, you know, like, step on a switch, look up, maybe there's something up there I didn't see, or now we have the climbing feature, maybe I have to climb a wall to, to get somewhere to see that there's a, a thing up there that I couldn't see just by looking, you know, there's so many new ways they can implement puzzles with the hang glider, with the climbing, with the bombs, with stopping time, there's so much ways they can implement very awesome puzzles into actual dungeons that aren't the physics-based Shrine of Trials, and that's what I'm waiting to see. I'm waiting to see how they're going to be doing these puzzles, how they're going to stump me, and I want to get my aha moment when I figure out what I finally got to do. Because that's uh, one of the things of Zelda. I know they want to break tradition, and I understand that. But I still feel like Zelda should have some form of these puzzle elements still left to it that aren't just physics, ragdoll, stop time, go, go, run, go, you know. That's, that's all right. But we'll see. Uh, enemies are cool so far. The designs are interesting. Uh, they kind of look like a mesh between uh, Wind Waker and Skyward Sword enemy designs, and that's that's all right. You know, they're still called Bokoblins. That's from um, Skyward Sword. My bad. Um, but yeah, you know, we just have to see what they have left in store for us. Maybe it'll be, maybe there's still, a, well, there's definitely a whole bunch left to see. I mean, the, the game, they said there's only like 2% shown for what we've seen so far, and that's ridiculous to me. But, um, you know, there's going to be a lot to do, there's going to be a lot to see, there's going to be a lot to go around. Uh, you know, the story seems interesting already so far. You know, Sheikah Tribe is extinct, Link's been asleep for a hundred years, like, you know, he wakes up in a place called the Shrine of Resurrection. What, was somebody trying to, res like, resurrect the soul of the hero? Was it set on a timer that it would automatically do it after 100 years or something? You know, it's hard to say. Um, you know, I'm not going to argue any other kind of analysis or things like that because I'm not going to bother doing an analysis. I'm going to be straight out. I've been doing analysis videos for Zelda Wii U since it came out or since it was announced. But I'm not. I'm gonna stray apart from that for now because there's a bunch of information and it's already going out out there and everyone's already making their own ideas and no matter what ideas I make, I know there's gonna be somebody out there who's gonna make a video, you know, a five-hour video, <laughs> not five-hour, but you know what, you know what I mean. There's gonna be somebody out there who makes a video who has a million subscribers and they're all gonna watch his videos and mine are irrelevant. My ideas are garbage, so I'm not gonna bother with that. So that's why I'm just kind of making my this my opinion video of how, what I think about this new Zelda. And again, I think it's great. I'm just sad to see Fee all rusted in <laughs> the poor Master Sword. Poor Fee. I actually like Fee. Okay, anyways. Uh, I think the game looks great. I think it's going to be fantastic. Uh, there's still much left to see. Uh, but, you know, we'll get more information over time. And hopefully, eventually, we get a, a dedicated story trailer that kind of helps, uh, you know, link us... <laughs> See what I did there? Links us to um, what's it? What what's been happening to Hyrule? What happened to it? What's hap What's going on? What is what is this calamity, Ganon? What happened to Hyrule Castle? Is Zelda still alive? Is there even a princess in this game? Uh, you know, is there actually a Ganondorf, or is there only Ganon in this one? So. I'm interested to see all these redesigns of characters we know and love like Zelda and Ganon or Ganondorf, depending on if both are in the game or not, who knows. But, um, it, you know, it'll be a very interesting thing to see, and, 
I'm very excited to see how, what direction the game's going to be taking further. I'm excited with what we see already. Uh, I'm definitely not against it. It looks very, very amazing. And, um, yeah, it's just going to be a very interesting, uh, you know, process as we see the game evolve from what it is now to the eventual release date in 2017. So, thank you guys for sitting around here listening to me ramble about the new Legend of Zelda game, uh, Breath of the Wild. Uh, if you have any opinions, put, put them down in the comments below, and I will be more than happy to comment about them with you. I'm very comment happy, and I love to respond to people, if you probably know from my, a lot of my other videos. And, um, you know, you can always ask me more questions, uh, more opinions that I didn't address in this video. And, again, I'll reply to them as comments. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, until then, see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.